we are going to solve a numerical problem related to the chapter heat and this the problem is hot water of mass 10 kg at 90 degrees celsius is cooled for taking a bath it is mixed with 20 kg of 20 degrees celsius water what is the final temperature of water very simple hot water is mixed with cold water and we have to find out the final temperature of the water before solving this numerical problem we must have some idea about the heat transfer look at this if a substance has high temperature let's say it has high temperature and another has low temperature and they are made in contact with each other low temperature this is low temperature no matter what what is their mass then heat always flows from a body at high temperature to a body at low temperature and according to principle of calorimetry heat lost heat lost is equal to heat gained what the meaning this hot object loses heat energy and cold object gains heat energy and heat loss by hot object is equal to heat gained by uh, the cold object this is according to principle of calorimetry this equation we are going to use to solve this numerical problem beside this we must have another idea also there is heat equation which gives uh, us uh, this q equal to m s dt this is called heat equation q is quantity of heat whether it is lost or gained by a body and m is mass s is space heat capacity and dt is difference of temperature now we have two liquids i mean to say both are same water but a different temperature and different mass that's why when they are mixed with each other then one of them loses heat energy another gains heat energy that's why hot water loses heat energy and heat lost heat lost by hot water uh, can be calculated by using this equation heat lost is equal to what q equal to m s dt and heat gained the same amount of heat will be gained by this uh, cold water and that's why heat gained I explained this in previous class also is also m into s into dt but the mass of these two are different and space heat capacity may be different in this case both of them are water that's why space heat capacity is same but maybe one is not water another one is iron another is water one is mercury another is another matter at that time we have to use different symbol that's why for a hot object it will be better to remember m1 s1 dt1 now for cold object let's say m2 s2 dt2 and hot objects loses heat energy let's say final temperature is if t then hot object loses heat energy its initial temperature is if t1 then what happens this dt1 becomes what dt1 becomes t1 minus t means difference of temperature this initial temperature minus final temperature because it loses heat energy its initial temperature is more final temperature is less that's why difference is initial minus final but in this case both of them at a same temperature t and dt2 will be t minus t2 if its initial temperature is t2 let's say here it is taken t1 if its initial temperature is t2 then final temperature will be more than t2 why more than t2 because it gains heat energy and when a body gains heat energy when a substance gains heat, is heat energy then its temperature rises and final temperature becomes more and final temperature is t t is more minus initial temperature t2 this gives the difference of temperature we have to remember this matter to solve this numerical problem that's why m1 s1 dt1 for a hot uh, hot object and m2 s2 D, uh, dt2 for cold object this is not the rule to use one and two whatever you want you can use but i think it will better to have this okay now let's solve the numerical problem what is given i'm going to write each of them and then we'll solve numerical problem okay what is given for hot water What is given for hot water mass is given m1 equal to what 10 kg and 
its initial temperature is given that is t1 equal to 90 degree celsius yeah and final temperature final temperature is equal to let's say t we are taking this let t now initial final and mass is given speciate capacity both of them have same that's why i'm not writing speciate capacity the value is also not given now heat lost hot object loses heat energy that's why hot water also it loses heat energy heat lost is equal to m1 instead of writing s1 i am writing only s because both of them are water specific capacity is same if they were different then i will be writing here s1 and on the next case for coal s2 uh, m1 s instead of s1 s dt1 dt1 now next step m1 is 10 kg s remains same dt1 what is it t1 minus t i told you just now just before this now 10 s t1 is 90 degree minus t we don't know we have to calculate this is our final equation uh heat loss equal to this much now what about heat gain let's talk about heat gain heat which one gains heat uh, heat energy heat gained i mean to say uh, this is cold water Cold water instead of writing for state again, it would be better to have mass. Cold water M2. What is the mass of cold water? This is 20 kg. And what is its initial temperature? T2. This is equal to 20 degree Celsius. And what is its final temperature? Final temperature equal to T let in both the cases final temperature is same uh, because both of them attain same temperature at last what is final temperature now uh, heat gained now heat gained is equal to m2 into s2 instead of writing s2 s i told you about this s and what t t minus t2 now, what is the value of M2? M2 is given here, 20 kg. Here we have 20. And S, we are writing the same as T. We don't know, we have to calculate. And what is T2? T2 is 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is heat gained. Now we have heat loss and heat gain both. Okay, now we are using principle of calorimetry. According to... principle of calorimetry heat lost is equal to heat gained therefore 10 s here it is 10 s 90 minus t is equal to 20 s t minus 20 okay this all this 0 and 0 cancel and this specific capacity in both the cases same value cancel now it is only 90 minus t is equal to 2 into t minus 20 or it is equal to minus t this is equal to 2t minus 2 to the 4 4t now if this minus t is taken to right hand side and minus 40 is taken to left hand side 90 plus 40 is equal to 2t plus t or 90 plus 40 130 this is equal to 3t or t is equal to 130 
divided by 3. If 130 is divided by 3, then you can calculate 3 for the this 12 and again 3 3 is a 9. 43.33093 you can use calculator degree celsius therefore final temperature final temperature is 43.33 degree celsius this way we can solve the numerical problem related to uh, two substances when they are mixed with each other having different temperature. Okay, this must for today.